Hi everybody, this is Jarrett Wilson from The Paperless Agent, and I'm here to show you how to run a virtual listing presentation using Zoom. Now Zoom uses your computer's built-in video camera and microphone to be able to broadcast your face and voice to your clients, but if you're using a machine that does not have those built in, you will need to supply an external webcam and an external microphone to be able to use the audio and video. We also recommend that you set up some lights behind your setup. I have some lights behind my computer monitors right here to be able to better illuminate you on the call and it not only makes you look clear it also elevates the look and feel of this web meeting since you're especially having to adapt to a virtual meeting space as opposed to an in-person meeting but once you have all that stuff set up and ready to go on your computer we can now begin using zoom so to get zoom downloaded and installed first let's go to zoom's website at zoom.us Brings us up to their homepage here. You see on the right hand side where you can sign up for their service. It's free, so click that button. Once you're in the sign up page, you can sign up using your email address or you can sign up using Google and Facebook. I like to sign in using Google so that way it's already connected with my Google Calendar. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in with Google. Once you've signed in, you'll see your account hub and it gives you the options to schedule a new meeting and you can run through the normal interface here. I feel that though the desktop application of Zoom is much easier and a little more intuitive to use. So I'm gonna show you how to download that and then we'll continue the rest of our setup in the app. So we'll go down to download here in the bottom banner of the page. You can click that and that brings you to their download center. You can also just go to the URL zoom.us forward slash download. And then once you're here, click download Zoom client for meetings. Once that finishes downloading, run the installer and you'll be good to go. So once you've run the installer, you'll now see that you're here at the Zoom app. It's a little bit cleaner. You got the new meeting, you can join a meeting, schedule a meeting, share your screen. This little window here will show you your upcoming meetings that you have. So, but for today's purposes of running a virtual listing presentation, we're going to schedule a new meeting. So click schedule. Once this window pops up, this is where you can set all of the parameters for the meeting you're about to hold. So first thing would be to change the name. So let's change that to virtual listing presentation with John Doe. After selecting the name, it's time to set when the event will start. So that's what you can do here. You can change it the date and time here by changing the date in the drop down calendar and then changing the time over here in this other little menu. For the sake of this example though, we're gonna go ahead and just have it scheduled for today and it's almost 1 p.m. So we'll have this scheduled for 1 p.m. The duration is a totally optional thing that you can set. It's just something that you can put to show your clients an idea of how long you think this meeting will last so that they can plan accordingly. Keep everything else the same. The only thing I would suggest is that checking in the calendar section down at the bottom to make sure that it is linked up to the calendar of your choosing. So how I signed into my Gmail account, it shows Google Calendar as the calendar app that Zoom is using. That's perfect. That's exactly what I want. So I'm going to hit schedule. And then after you hit schedule, it pulls up an, a calendar invitation for you to finalize. And this is where you can add your guests, like here on the right side, you can add in some guests there. And you can also have access to the URL for the meeting. And this can be shared outside of this invitation through another email. After you've finished out and invited them to the meeting though, hit save, and that will send out the invitation to your clients. And we're ready to finalize the setup of your audio and video. Now that we've set up the meeting and sent the invitation out to our client, it's now time to actually get into the meeting room. You can see here now, it shows your virtual listening presentation with John Doe set to start at 1 p.m. to 1.30. It's starting now, so we're gonna go ahead and jump into this meeting. So click the start button. The first thing you will see is it asks you if you want to join with computer audio. So you will hit join with computer audio. You can also hit this little tick box at the bottom of this pop-up to automatically always join by computer audio whenever you're starting a meeting. So that way you don't have to do this, deal with this window every single time. But for now, let's just hit join with computer audio. Now it says you're using computer audio. You can see in this talking box at the top of the window, it shows my name showing that I am the one talking. You can also see in the bottom left hand side, this microphone icon, the green bouncing bar shows that it is picking up an audio signal, which is great. If you want to change which microphone input you're using, hit this little pop-up arrow right here and you can select a microphone. Once your audio is set up and ready to go, then it's time to set up your video. The video automatically starts with the camera off. But when you're ready to turn on the camera and, and get going, hit start video. 
It will automatically use the webcam that you have selected for your computer. Hello, everybody. Once you have the audio and video set up, your client is in the meeting and you're ready to start the virtual presentation, you can show your presentation to the client by using the screen share function included in Zoom. So here's how we do that. In the bottom of the screen, you can see the share button there. Go ahead and click that. So once you're in the share screen, you have the option to either share a complete screen, which is this screen one or screen two if you have multiple screens, or you can share the applications themselves that you have open on your computer. Now I would recommend going this route and showing only the application that has your listing presentation, be that keynote, PowerPoint, or PDF reader if you have your slides exported to PDF. Doing that will negate the chance of a of the clients accidentally seeing like your email or a text message that would come through or any other notifications. It's only going to screen share the application that you want to show the client. So in this case, I have my listing presentation here. I'm gonna just click that, click share, and it pulls it up in full screen. Now you see at the top, it shows you're sharing because you can have the stop share option here for whenever you're done. You still have your microphone and video controls here. Now, while you're here, you have complete normal control over the program that's showing off your slides. So you can scroll through all of your slides. The video overlay here of your Zoom conversation is right here. Your client will show up under this. You can move this window to wherever you like on your screen. Move it to a separate screen if you have another one. But other than that, this is what your client is going to see. Your client cannot control your screen. He's there only seeing it. So once you're finished with the screen share and you've gone through all of your slides, hit stop share. This returns you to the video view. You saw my screen just because I'm recording from my desktop, but it returns you to the normal screen where you'll be having just normal conversation with your client. And that's pretty much it. A couple other cool things that we can mention that I can want to mention to you really quick is that if you want to save this Zoom meeting for a later date, so you can either go back and review it yourself or send it to your client for them to review, you can record the call. So in the bottom of the of the Zoom window again, you see the record button. Just click that before the call begins and you're set to go. And then once you're all done and, and finished with the presentation, you've said goodbye to your client, simply come to the bottom right-hand side of the window here, hit end meeting, and then hit end meeting for all. That closes out the presentation to both you and the client, and you've completed your virtual listing presentation using Zoom.